Um, we have a great stretching routine for you today because we have been working you out really hard all week. So, if you're anything like me, you may have a sore bum today and need to stretch it out. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our feet together and we are going to breathe up, stretch our arms over our head, and arch back, separating each part of our vertebrae. Breathe. Come up. Exhaling. And then we're going to swan dive our arms down towards our toes. Just hang here for a second. And whatever your flexibility is, don't push it. Just stretch for whatever's comfortable for you. Now we're going to bend our right knee and put our right hand on the floor. <laughs> or as close as you can get. Or on your leg. <laughs> Perfect. And then you're going to stretch your left arm up to the ceiling. Look at your thumb. And again, don't push it. Pull your abs in and really feel yourself twisting with your back nice and protected. This is stretching out your IT band, which is really a hard spot to stretch. Okay, we're going to slowly lower our hand to the ground. Bend our left knee or to your leg, wherever you can. Pull in that stomach, but make sure you're breathing. And then twist and stretch that right hand towards the ceiling. Look at your thumb. Feel your other IT band stretching out. If you don't feel it, lean into that straight leg a little bit. And you'll feel it moving, stretching. One more time. And back to the other side. Okay, bend your knees, put both hands down on the ground, and you're going to step back to a plank position. From this position, you're going to lift your right foot, bend it, and bring your knee down onto the floor in front of you, a little bit behind your hands. Once again, we're stretching out your glutes and your IT band really well in this pose. Your hip flexors. That's right, you feel it all there? <laughs> I'm just showing the sex and sections that you talk about. <laughs> I'm okay. like your Vanna White. Perfect. I've always wanted a Vanna. Glutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, relax your shoulders, let your fingertips touch the floor, and look up at the ceiling. Again, pull your stomach in. So you're protecting your back. We never want to crunch that lower back area. We always want it to be nice and extended. We're going to lean forward on our forearms. Really feel that stretch. Ooh. You feel it? Oh yeah. Good. This area is really tight on me today, so hopefully this is helping you as much as it's helping us. Okay, and we're going to come up, and then we are going to bend our back leg, if you can, just so we can get the front of that thigh and grab it behind you. And you'll really feel it stretching out the front of your thigh. Feel it? Oh, yeah. Another hard to get area, but not if you know the right moves. Okay, so let that go, and we're going to do the other side now. So come back to that plank position, lift your left leg, bend it, and bring it forward onto the floor in front of you. Make sure your weight's evenly distributed between both of your hips. Let your fingertips touch the floor and look at the ceiling. The side's tighter. Yeah. Everyone has a side that's tighter, so even if it's significantly tighter, don't be surprised. Flexibility changes from day to day. So you might be super flexible today and super tight tomorrow. It's a day by day thing. And it's okay, just go with whatever your body can do. You don't want to push yourself and get hurt. Okay, now lean forward onto those forearms. Again, getting that hip flexor area. 
I had a knee injury once from running and this pose saved me. I was very bitter when I wasn't able to run. <laughs> Glad Buffy could join us. Yeah, she's stretching too. Okay, and come up. Breathe. And then bend that right leg and grab it behind you. I'm going to turn just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm really stretching out this area of my thigh. Feels really nice. Getting a hip flexor area. Nice flexibility, baby. Yeah. I feel like I have myself in a sharpshooter. <laughs> Okay, and relax it down. I'm going to turn. Good. Come back to that plank pose. Relax your knees to the floor. Stretch back into child's pose. So your butt just goes to rest on your heels. Your shoulders and your back stretch out and your forehead touches the floor. Just breathe here and relax for a second. Now slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time until you're in a nice seated position. <clears throat> and this is a really simple stretch, but it's one of my absolute favorites because of the way it makes your spine and your back feel. So we're going to turn our palms up and slowly reach for the ceiling. Let your face and your eyes follow your fingertips once they get close to the top. Breathe, and then exhale down, palms facing the floor, very slowly, and it's going to feel like your spine is lengthening and stretching up towards the ceiling as you lower your hands. Oh, that feels so nice. Okay, now we're going to come and sit on our butts. We're going to bend our left leg underneath and our right leg on top. And if it's difficult to get in this position, don't worry about it. You can sit cross-legged. Just get in the general area, but your weight should be even between both hips. We're going to take our left hand, put it next to our right knee on our right thigh. We're going to turn at our hips, then at our shoulders, reach behind us, and look over our shoulder. We're stretching our spine and our back, and release, and we're going to do the other side, so switch to the other direction. I'm going to turn to the side again so you can see what I'm doing. Put your right hand on your left leg, <laughs> turn at your waist, then at your shoulders, then at your head, and reach your left hand behind your right butt cheek. So you should feel a nice twist in your back. I keep getting cramped. Well, if you're getting a cramp, then don't stretch quite so far. That's probably far enough. Good job. And release. And come to face forward. Okay, we're going to put our feet straight. We're going into staff pose which means that you're sitting far straighter than you normally sit at any other time in your life. You should feel like there's a rod going straight from the tip of your head down to the floor. And breathe. Good. And we're going to lift our hands up over our heads, and then we're going to slowly come forward, bending at our waist. And just stretch as far as you can. There is no prerequisite for how flexible you have to be to do this. But you should feel nice lengthening on either side of your spine. And if you feel one side feels a little bit longer than the other, just kind of pull on your legs or wherever to pull your back forward. Lightly though. Good. We're going to roll up. We're going to do it one more time. Hands come up. And stretch. Make sure.
sure you're breathing. Your knees should be pressing into the mat below you. Good. And then come up. Oh, that felt really nice on my lower back. Backs of your legs? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to separate our legs. So I'm going to come forward a little bit so we both have room. <laughs> Good thing you have those extra shorts underneath. Got those running shorts on. Okay, and first we're going to stretch towards our left leg. And we're going to actually turn our upper body so it faces that leg. And then bend over it. Good. <laughs> Yeah, we did a long run today, so we're feeling it a little bit today. Well, I guess it wasn't so long for him, but for me it was a long run. Okay, and now we're going to turn our chest towards the front, lift the shoulder towards the ceiling, and stretch out over that leg. And again, your flexibility is going to vary. This is a hard position for a lot of people because you're adding in the stretch of the lower back, which gets really tight. But by stretching these muscles, you're going to strengthen them as well. Good. And turn back down to face it. Sweep towards the middle. And now we're going to turn our body to the right. Stretch out over that right leg. Come up. We're going to turn our body to the front and stretch out over the right leg. Good. Keep your shoulders nice and open and you should be trying to look up at the ceiling. Good. And we're going to turn back over that leg. And then again, slowly walk your fingers towards center. And sit up. How are your legs feeling? Great. <laughs> Good. Poppy. Okay. Now we're going to cross our feet, cross our legs. And we're just going to lean forward over it. So you should feel this in the sides of your glutes. Where at? Right here. This little area. Oh, okay. And you just lean forward. <laughs> I like checking out your butt. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now we're going to lay on our stomachs. And we're going to do a small back bend. So we're going to keep our forearms on the floor and we're going to just push ourselves up and look at the ceiling. And this is a nice way to stretch your lower back. Act as if you can feel each vertebrae lifting and separating as you stretch it out, getting rid of any compression in your spine. Okay, good. Now we're going to go into down dog. So plant your toes on the mat, push yourself up, your butt goes in the air, your heels drop, and your back gets nice and flat. Look towards your belly button. Relax it down onto your hands and knees. We're going to do cat cow. I'm going to turn to the side. So, for cow, you're going to drop your stomach, lift your hip bones toward the ceiling, lift your back so you're going into a nice sway back. Look up at the ceiling. And then exhale to cat. You turn into a Halloween cat. Your back arches. You look toward your belly button and then exhale back to cow. One vertebrae at a time and back up to cat.
to cow. Good. You like chicken? Huh? <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, you can sit cross-legged or you can sit on your heels, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're going to do equal arms and really stretch out our shoulders. So, we're going to put our hands like this. Take our right elbow, put it into the crook of our left elbow, and then turn our hands to face each other. Lift, you'll already feel a stretch, and then pull it out a little bit. <laughs> if you have cats, maybe you should put them in the other room. <laughs> Now I'm doing my left arm. Oh, well, get right. <laughs> Lift and stretch. And you'll feel it all across your shoulder blades and neck. Relax. Roll your shoulders a few times. Okay, now we're going to take our hand. I'm sorry, did you get to do both sides? We're going to take our hands and put it on top of our head. And then we're not pulling at all. This is just a guide. We're going to drop our right ear toward our right shoulder. Stretch out that neck. Lift it up. We're going to switch hands. So take our left hand, put it on top of our head. Again, no pulling. Just gentle guidance as you drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Make sure you're breathing the entire time. And lift it up. We're going to drop our chin to our chest. Relax your shoulders as you do this. Lower your, or bring your head back up to neutral, and then we're going to drop it back and point our chin toward the ceiling. Bring it back to neutral. <clears throat> okay, we're going to come back to a plank position. We're going to step our right foot forward. We're going to drop our left knee to the ground and turn our toes so the top of our foot is on the floor. Come up, lean into that hip to really stretch our hip flexor in the front of our legs. And then we're going to bring our hands up to the ceiling and look up, arching back. You'll feel the whole front of your body stretching. hands down. We're going to switch legs. So come back to plank, step back, bring your left foot forward, drop your right knee, make it so the tops of your toes are flat on the floor. Come up, push forward into that leg, feel the stretch in the front of your thigh, and breathe up. Stretch back, Come up, bring it down, okay, and we're going to go back to our right leg, so step it forward, this time you're not dropping your knee to the ground, you're going to put your left hand next to your right foot and twist up, pulling your abs in, looking up towards your thumb. And even if you can only get your arm up to here, that's fine. Just go with it and slowly you'll be able to reach further. Okay, relax it down. We're going to step back, do the other side. Left foot comes forward, right hand comes next to your left foot, and your left hand stretches up toward the sky. Abs pull in, 
as you look at your thumb. Bring it down. Relax it down. Come onto your hands and knees and go back to child's pose to stretch out your shoulders. Slowly roll up when you're ready. Okay, we're going to do camel pose, which is a back bending pose, just to stretch out our back one more time. I'm going to do it from the side. So you're going to come up onto your knees. You're going to stretch both your arms up to the sky. And then you're going to go one arm at a time. So right arm goes back, touches your heel. Then your left arm goes back and touches your heel. Stretch out of your low back. Really feel the stretch. Slowly come up and drop your chin to your chest. Good. Do you feel stretched out? Very much so. Are there any other parts that you feel like stretching? Not on camera. <laughs> well, in that case we'll do one more pose because I just thought of it. And You're probably going to edit that out, aren't you? I think my husband deserves some torture right now. <laughs> so we're going to do <laughs> King Arthur pose. <laughs> which I'm taking my shoes off for. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your right leg, put it flat against the wall. And you're going to take your left leg and bend it so it's at a nice 90 degree angle. Your knee is directly above your heel. You really feel this stretching out the front of your thighs and your hip flexor. Good job. Oh, you are in a serious stretch. Good job. Well, I'm in serious trouble. And then stretch up, relax your shoulders, and look at the ceiling. I love you. I love you too. That's good. Look forward. Bring it down, and we're going to do the other side. <clears throat> so now your left leg is going up the wall behind you. Hopefully you can tell what we're doing. Your right leg bends, knee directly over your ankle, lean back, so you're feeling a really nice stretch in this whole area. <sighs> Breathe up, and stretch back. If you get a cramp, just stop and relax. And if you're going to try to go back into it, move very, very slowly and do just what your body tells you is okay. Okay, bring it down. And then just for fun, I'm going to do a back bend. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to turn my mat, get my socks off so I don't slip and fall. We're going to lay on our backs on the mat. Get your heels really nice and close to your butt so your fingertips can touch them. You're going to take your palms, put them next to your ears so your fingertips are facing your shoulders. Or pointing towards your shoulders, I should say. And then slowly push up. And breathe while you're in your back bend. And I like this because I feel it stretching out the whole front of my abs. And then slowly release and go down one vertebrae at a time. And sit up. 
Now don't just go into the back bend. We did a lot of stretches to prepare with all of the twisting and the camel pose, cobra pose. So you never just want to go straight into a back bend on cold muscles. Um, thank you very much for joining us for today's stretching routine. Check my website to find out what type of actual um, workout I did today. And we will see you next time.